Another loss, Ziggler. At least you are consistent. <laughs> Anyways, intro. Yo, what's good, guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another WWE 2K22 My Rise video featuring, of course, your boy as a creative character uh, in this story. And uh, let's see, we got more stories to hit up. We're ignoring these ones here because these ones. Uh, let's see, this one is a heel turn story. This one is a changing brand story. So let's see. Oh, time flies. Let's see this one. So time flies. Your raw contract is expiring soon. Are you going to re-sign? Remember, if any champions decide to go, then their titles stay here. Let's see, are we going to re-sign? Are we going to explore other options? Are we going to put off decision? No, we're going to re-sign. We ain't ready to leave just yet. I'm definitely re-signing. I'm not done on raw yet. Good. I've always been one to reward loyalty. You're going to main event the next Raw. I'll even let you choose your opponent. A win over a top talent in the main event would undoubtedly be great for your career. So who's it going to be? Uh, well, we're not going against some asshole uh, again. Uh, let's see. Some old Joe. You know what? I want to stick it to AJ. I want AJ to see my new attire. So let's go with AJ. Nothing against Samoa Joe, but he, he all elite now. So we're going with AJ. I'll take on AJ Styles. Done and done. Good luck out there. And again, I think you made the right call sticking around. So stay or go is one of the stories we definitely needed to hit up. Hopefully this will be just a one and done. And then we can hit up another major storyline. But anyway, let's go. So yeah, in case y'all wondering what I'm talking about, as you can see, I changed up my attire. We got the NWO style attire featuring my initials, my logo, you know what I'm saying? And in the back, Lone Wolf, baby. Let's go, AJ. We ain't got all day, man. Right in his face! <laughs> Yeah, you ain't got the NWO backing you up now, huh? How did that new Outsiders uh, deal work out for you? I'm just curious. See if we can bust him open. Can't let this flourish derail him. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Foot just stomping down. And we is going for it. Yes. Nailed it. He's got the target acquired. Just a matter of moments. We're gonna make him tap out. Hey, rule my one night nitro plans. I will make an example out of you for as many times as they'll allow me to. So, Stair Gold was a one and done, so we got time for another one. Big news JV has made the extremely smart decision to re sign with Raw. Was it really that hard of a choice, though? Careful, Mandy, you're pushing it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so no stories in the social feed, in the DMs. How's my favorite WWE champion? Oh boy. How's my favorite WWE champion? So here's the deal. I want to pop a big rating this week on Raw. An easy way to do that would be to let you defend your title. So what do you say? 
you would be really helping out the whole company. Yeah, of course I'll help. I'm open to any opportunity to defend my title. It would be my pleasure and remind oh my, my pleasure to remind everyone how hard I've worked to get here. Fantastic, I'll set it up. So defending for the demographic. Well, there we are. Look at that. We got my custom side plates on there. Yo, holla at your boy, man. Tell me that ain't fire. Look at that. It goes with my shirt, too, and everything. Yeah. Man, those side plates are fire. Come on, now. I like how it goes with my shirt. That is fire. Introducing the challenge. Really? Buddy Murphy? A WWE Championship contender? I don't know. I mean, he didn't really stick around long enough to prove himself worthy. I mean, he's supposed to be all elite now, I think. He's really slowly getting up. Oh, yeah. The challenger eating up some damage, taking on some offense, but he expected as much. All right, fans want to show, so we're going to give them one on your feet. today let's go oh counter my sick uh oh uh oh yes oh beautiful German Let's go. Punk ass. I did to go and botch the finish. Ooh. Nope. Oh, we got to finish too. Oh, helm to the no. No, and we no sold. No. You punk ass. We feeling edgy. We feeling edgy. You done, son. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Champion, the Outlaw, Jason J. V. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. Look at that. What the custom side blades. Come on. That looks sick. That's fire. Defending for the demographics. So that was pretty much a one and done. We definitely got time for another one. So let's check social media to see if there's any more stories. Uh, oh, let's see. Uh, record ratings for the latest Raw as JV successfully defended his WWE Championship in the main event. That's right. Let's see, let's check the DMs. Alright, nothing major in the DMs. So let's try locales. Uh, Raw GM's office. What did you want to talk to me about? I realize this is kind of a big ask, 
but I want to defend my WWE Championship against John Cena. Beating him would solidify my title reign and put me up there with some of the top champions of all time. So, any chance you can make that happen? You know, maybe give him one of those mandates to show up and face me? Yeah, I wish it was that easy. I mean, don't you think I've already tried to get Cena to appear on Raw before? He would bring instant star power along with a guaranteed ratings boost. But the reality is he's busy with various TV and film projects and isn't interested in a return right now. So it's pretty much a lost cause. If I were you, I'd focus on something else. I'm going to get Cena to face me. Maybe we'll revisit this later. Nah, Cena gonna, gonna, gonna face me like, 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 like the man that he is. You know what I'm saying, Brett? I wouldn't be where I am today if I just quit anytime I was up against some adversity. I'm going to get John Cena to come back to WWE and face me. And how are you going to do that? I'm going to take a little trip down memory lane and revisit some of Cena's career highlights. Ooh. Maybe that will get his attention. Ooh, you can't face me? Yeah, we'll see about that, you jabron. <laughs> 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 So, hey, at Cena, it's the, it's the WWE Champion JV. You once said the worst question is the one that isn't asked. So, how about you take a break from Hollywood and come home? Yeah! So, we can go one-on-one -on -one in a WWE ring. Know you're busy, Cena, but also know I want this match because I respect you and I'm a fan. True. Uh, one of my favorite matches... Of yours was against the Miz at WrestleMania. You remember that? At Mike the Miz. Of course I remember that. It's when I beat Cena successfully defending my WWE Championship. What's your point? Point is, I'd like to show Cena how much I want to face him by revisiting some of his most memorable moments. So how about you come to WWE Raw and we recreate that match? I live the real thing. Don't need to be a part of your pathetic reenactment. <clears throat> I get it. Your biggest achievement was over 10 years ago. I wouldn't want to be reminded of that either. I've accomplished more in the past decade than you will in your entire career. You want to play make-believe and recreate old moments? Fine. I'll, I'll make a trip to Raw to beat you just like I did Cena at WrestleMania. Let's go, Miz. Booyah. Ooh. Let's go. Knee to the face. Still just as much of a J Brown as you were ten years ago. Let's go. They've got the top rope and just driving. I like that scared look Miz had before I started hitting him with the knees. And the follow-away slam. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Barely nailed that one. Oh! Oh crap. Nope. Nope. Sorry. Not this time. I ain't going for that move again. Fuck that. That move is cursed. Follow a slam, baby. Oh no. We got enough for a sig. Go for the Outlaw's Edge. Let's do this. Bam. Oh, wait. We got enough for another finisher. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, 
twofer. A twofer. Now nah, he's stunned. Let's go. Done, my stun son. I wonder if we're going to call out JBL and Booker T. Because Cena faced them too. See, hey, John Cena, did you see my match against Mike the Miz? Actually got the win. So it wasn't exactly how your match at WrestleMania went down. But close enough. So, want to face me? I know you can't see me, but I hope you can see these posts. Hashtag cricket. Hashtag awkward. So this whole Cena thing, hate to say I told you so, but you know what? I don't hate it at all. I told you so. I know how it looks from your perspective, but I promise it's going to work. I just need more time. And besides, I never said this would be easy. Fine. But if you don't get at least some kind of acknowledgement soon from Cena, then I'm pulling the plug. What's your next move? Spotlighting a major loss didn't seem to work, so I'm going to go in the other direction. Oh yeah, I actually got wind of your idea for this already. Trying to replicate Cena's first WWE Championship win by beating JBL? Don't think it's going to matter, but I'll make it happen. Ooh boy, asking ye shall receive. We may be going against JBL, let's go. Oh, I ain't no limo entrance. I'm disappointed. A wrestling god. <laughs> and his opponent from Dallas, Texas, weighing in at 290 pounds, JBL. Now here's JBL, a triple crown champion. He's held the WWE title, Intercontinental title, and U.S. title. He's a member of the WWE Hall of Fame and a bona fide wrestling god. Hey, guys, I ever told you that JBL is a really good friend of mine? That's a lie, Byron. I'm not going to lie. His entrance is fire. I like that he got the, you know, the yeah, dollars coming out. Like I say, you making it rain. Whoa! But good thing he missed too, so we got lucky there. Didn't miss that time. Ah, oh, hell, I messed up. Nope, get off me. Bruh. Alright, come on, come on. Turn around. And down we go. And we got enough for a sig. Let's do this. Oh! You asshole! Them out, ref. Get out of the way. I mean, I, I may not have enough for a sig, but I got something just as good to set it up. Let's go. You damn skip it. Skip it. Beat JBL just like Cena did for his first WWE Championship. What do you think, John? Am I worthy of a match? Well, this is really getting awkward now. Forget I did or said any of this. Hashtag crazy stalker. So hold up, JV. I, 
I can see you. Uh oh, Cena's responding. Hold on, I want to see his first response. Let's go. Said, hold up, JV. I can see you, and I'm flattered. Sorry, I didn't respond sooner. Was out of the country filming a movie. Uh oh, Mandy Rose is peeking in. Oh, hi, John. So, million dollar question. You got one match left in you? I do, and hopefully more than one, but it's just not going to happen right now. Uh, already juggling too much, and you deserve my full attention as an opponent. Hey, hey, that, yo, that, that, that's respect right there. That's respect. Let's go. I mean, I mean this, with all, with all respect, but where does your loyalty lie? The place that made you, or the place that is going to toss you aside the second someone else comes along? Ooh. Not the time or venue for this. Be better. I'm trying to be better by facing the best, but maybe I'm too late. All I can say is good luck, JV. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, there was a potential opening with Cena, and you blew it. How? I don't think it's over. Are you crazy? He turned you down and then you insulted him? We can forget about a match. He probably won't even come back for a simple appearance now. So thanks for that. I'm telling you, I think I struck a nerve with him. And a man like that is too proud to just let that go. Let me do one more thing to get his attention, and if this doesn't work, then I'll move on. You've already tried one more thing two or three times. He's going to respect the fact that I won't give up. And then you'll get your star power and your ratings boost that you want so bad. Ugh, what do you want to do? I want The Undertaker. Again? What? Let me explain. Cena was in the exact same position I'm in with The Undertaker a few years ago at WrestleMania. He was so desperate for a match he bought a ticket and sat in the audience waiting. When Undertaker eventually did appear, Cena lost in five minutes. Mm, I'm not wrong. I remember all that. What's your point? I want to send Cena a final message by doing what he couldn't do at WrestleMania. I want to defeat The Undertaker. Man, it would have meant so much though if Taker's streak was intact. But I mean, I guess it's just as nice. Anyway. That's really pushing it. But I think I can make it happen. And if Cena sticks to his word and never answers your challenge, then at least I'll get the ratings boost I was looking for with The Undertaker. Mm -hmm. And if Cena does change his mind, then even better. All right. Looks like you got yourself a match against the Phenom. So breaking, The Undertaker returns to Raw next week to face JV. Don't miss this once in a lifetime clash of epic proportions. And we forward it to John Cena. Bruh, let's go. Let's go. I don't know how brave it is to go up against a dead man again. But I mean, yo, my, my, my dude, he got, he got a set of balls. He got a set of balls. I got to give it to him. I mean, come on. Think about it. This is the same guy who put Taker through a table. He threw Taker the off the hell in the cell and put him through a table. One ball, making his way to the ring from San Jose, California. Weighing in at 267 pounds. <clears throat> Ooh. Creatures of the night rejoice. The dead man has returned. There he is. The dead man. Oh, that's a dope shot. That is a dope shot. I'm not gonna lie. That was dope how you see Taker staring at the ring and you can see my guy in the ring. That is dope. See, this game may still have some issues here and there, but it's moments like that that kind of make up for it. Kind of. That man just gave me the, uh, the uh, stink eye. You know, under 
Undertaker is a time-honored warrior of the ring. No matter what you do, I'm not sure there's anything that... Let's see if they got better with uh, the eye roll effect so in this game. superstars have stood across the ring from the dead man, paralyzed with fear. And they have. Okay. All right. Come on, dead man. Oh, I shocked him. I shocked him. Oh. Look for the stunner. Shawn Michaels like elbow. He's positioning himself, closing in. And we're gonna take away the choke slam and the tombstone and the last ride. On your feet, dead man. Come on. on your feet again. Oh. Alright, let's see if we can try this move. Oh, we got it. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, we can't. We're, we're, we have to do the rock bottom. Take us too big. So we defeated the dead man. like that but I think the champion still has other things on his mind John Cena over the past few weeks I've done everything I can to prove to you that I'm worthy of a match that I'm worthy of your time I mean I just beat the Undertaker which is something you couldn't do so you know what maybe Maybe I've been looking at this the wrong way. Maybe it's not about proving that I'm worthy of your time. Maybe you're not worth mine. In your face! Hey, we can actually see him. challenges and then Cena himself saying it wasn't going to happen the WWE champion has gotten John Cena to return to Monday Night Raw and there you have it Cena is back for one thing the WWE championship hey, this is a matchup that no one thought we'd ever see and now it looks yeah I'm not backing down I like how you can see my side plates in the cutscene let's go Oh, that's the oh, that's that's thumbnail material right there. That is guaranteed thumbnail material. Let's go. See, you hustled, you questioned my loyalty, and now you're going to get the chance to earn my respect. I see what you did there. Uh, JV, you got your match. An opportunity is all I ever wanted, and now I've got it. I hope you're ready. I want the real John Cena. Don't worry, it's been a minute, but you're going to get the real deal. See you again soon, WWE. I'm coming home. Ooh, can we get the doctor of thugonomics, John Cena? I mean, I like to face that guy. Uh, obviously, John Cena recognizes Raw is the top brand with the top GM in WWE. 
I'll continue to work hard to bring you the biggest and brightest superstars each and every Monday Night Raw. Mandy Night Raw. You know what? I'll, I'll give her the Mandy Night Raw because it's much better than that stupid mandate mandate hashtag that she likes to use. Oh yeah, baby! We got the low rider entrance, which is my entrance of choice. Focus on the grind, just trying to survive, fighting to stay alive. Back on oh, yeah. another five, what I'm holding when I got falling behind. Not a bad way to roll in this summer. Damn, summer. this is it. I'm straight up hell bit to raise my ass up out of this bitch. Hell so yeah. give me the pad and the writing stick. I gotta jot down all the shit I need to spit. Fuck all of that, bicker and beef. I ain't got time, so consider it the cease. Dead. Fuck all of them. Hating ass apes, spewing out the sour grapes, keep slinging your feces, stay up, all up in your feces, we <laughs> both know you ain't trying to see me. Here comes the man. Ladies and, gentlemen, when you think and like I said, I've met this dude. I got to meet him before he broke out to Hollywood, you know what I'm saying, bruh, that, that, that's freaking fire. And I'm surprised Cena's not in the Hall of Fame yet. I mean, he's definitely Hall of Fame worthy. It's moments like this that John Cena lives for. The pressure, the spotlight, and the ability to deliver what it matters most. John Cena is a man who's always practiced what he preached. He embodies never give up and hustle loyalty respect David introducing the challenger from west newberry massachusetts weighing in at 251 pounds John i like how the commentators are still talking while the ring announcer is trying to announce us and introducing the champion from san jose california weighing in at 267 pounds he is the WWE Champion, the Outlaw, Jason J.V. See, I'm glad I lowered the volume on the commentators, man. The, that was just wrong, man. Having them talk while the ring announcer was doing his job. So here we go. Oh. Sorry, John, not today. By the way. Let's go, John. Oh, come on. That was well-timed. Shut up, Rev. Get out of the way. The challenger's looking shaken. Come on, John. We gotta give him the greatest match they've ever seen in their lives. Cena is unable to stop this string of offense. Cena needs to find some energy fast. Right 
Come on, John. On your feet. I didn't hurt your knee that bad. Oh, he countered my spear. Almost like a scorpion death drop. He just keeps dealing out punishment with every move. You have to give credit to the steady fight he's giving. Gonna work the arms. Alright, John. I don't think you've ever taken this move before. Special cut team where me and Cena shook hands. Come on now. <clears throat> Gotta hand it to JV. He was the better man and he earned my respect. Yo, I appreciate that, John, but I wish I could have shown you some respect by shaking your hands. Yeah, thanks a lot, 2K. You made that victory feel a little bit hollow. See, I appreciate that, John. You were one of the toughest challenges I've ever faced, if not the toughest. Uh, if not the toughest. And that says a lot considering the opponents I've had the past few weeks alone. I know I'm a busy guy, but like you, uh, I'm also a persistent guy and I don't take losing very well. So I shuffle some projects around and I'm not going back to Hollywood without one more match. Oh, this is going to be fire. This is going to be fire. Guess this is a bit of a role reversal. I'd like to see you... Take a trip down memory lane to recreate some of my biggest career moments and convince me you really want it. Then we'll talk. I know I said I shuffled some things around, but I don't have that much time. I'm still a busy guy. Just messing with you. Uh, you got your rematch anytime you want it. Let's go. Let's go. Breaking. JV and John Cena will meet again in a huge last man standing match. Who will survive and walk away with the WWE Championship? No matter who wins the match, we're all winners for this great entertainment that I continue to showcase on Monday Night Raw. <laughs> Shit, Mandy must be on cloud nine right now. You know what I'm saying, bruh? Bruh. <laughs> That's what it's all about right there. Oh, we got the Let's Go Cena, Cena Sucks chance going. From West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! And introducing the champion from San Jose, California, weighing in at 267 pounds. He is the WWE Champion, the Outlaw, Jason J.V. It is the richest prize our industry has to offer. This is the WWE Championship. Welcome to what should be one of the most brutal championship matches we've ever seen. So attempt to keep Cena down for a 10 count, which means, Cena, we got to give him one hell of a show. Which means one of us is going to eat some wood. And by eat some wood, I mean one of us is going through a table, and it ain't going to be me. Alright, let's take this action outside. So yeah. He's taking this to the floor now. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Uh-oh. Right into the barricade. I think we know what's coming next. Hooked up. And... Oh. 
And Cena starting to falter here. Cena has to find a way to reassert himself. One wicked attack after another. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. Come on, Cena. Alright, let me go set up this table. Come on, Cena. The challenger is not in a great place. The longer the match goes on, the more damage they will endure just to be the last man standing. They just punch him in the chest. And oh, so we got enough for a sig. We got to set it up. Oh, damn it, Cena. Cena ruined it. Alright, we got the finisher at least. Yes, that table. I said, get to the table. Come on, Mr. Hollywood. Damn it. Cut it out. Get your punk ass to the table. Thank you. There we go. Through the table. And he's stunned. Count it. Cena got up at nine. Alright. Oh, hell. No. Ah, he broke it on my head. Damn it. Get off me. Stunner. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs. No worries. Absolutely. You should pull out a table, but it's all chairs and kendo sticks. I guess he thinks the one thing missing in this match is a steel chair. Six. Oh, man. The referee just counted to seven. Eight. Nine. He down? He done. He done, son. Here is your winner. <clears throat> and still, the WWE Champion, the Outlaw, Jason J. V. And again, I don't get to shake Cena's hand. Bruh, let's go. Come on now. All right, so the You Can't Face Me story is complete. But before we go... Let's see what they're saying on social media. Gosh, everyone, I'm totally blown away by all of the kind compliments about how entertaining Raw has been lately. People have been saying that I'm doing a fantastic job. After all, did you see John Cena? Let's see what she did there. Uh, Mark for life. Let's see. Did you see that? Mind blown. Kimberly JV beat Cena twice. 
Well, believe it. Cena wasn't wild about how this all started, but it was good to come home. I've got mad respect for your fire and what you're able to do in the ring. Hey, appreciate that, my guy. Congrats on a well-deserved victory. That being said, next time I'm back from Hollywood, you better believe I'm asking for a rematch. Hey there, pal. I uh, wanted to let you know that you've gained access to an exclusive club. Not the club. Oh, not the club you're used you're used to what? Oh, not the club you used to have back in the Attitude Era, I hope. No, much better. You're now a top superstar in WWE. In the same echelon as John Cena, The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and that status affords certain privileges. Access to the company jet? Not quite. Uh, what I'm saying is you've earned the right to show up on whatever brand you want whenever you want. See, so you've always gone straight after what you wanted. It's really it's really worked out in this case. Going after it means this caliber of matches. I may still miss coaching you in the cage, but your work in WWE to get Cena has been inspiring. Hey, right on. Thanks, coach. Appreciate that. All right, all right guys. I think that's going to do it for this video. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. And, uh, yeah, be sure to let me know with the, with the likes, you know what I'm saying, with the comments, and, of course, with the subscriptions. That would be greatly appreciated if you're feeling the vibes over here, if you're digging what I'm doing. And don't forget, of course, check out all the links in the video description down below. It would also be greatly appreciated. Y'all have a blessed one. Catch y'all next one. Peace.